As soon as you launch ZBrush, by default, you're going to get the light box. All you got to do is just hit comma or click on the light box button and it will go away. Next, you want to use one of the primitives and the primitives are found inside of your tool palette on the big icon. So these are your 3D meshes and then just do a click and drag. The next thing that you have to do immediately as soon as you drag an object onto the canvas is click edit and the shortcut is the letter T and now we are in edit mode, in 3D mode. You can tell right away because you get this frame around your document and this is called the gutter and the gutter allows you to uh, rotate, zoom and pan by clicking inside of the gutter when your object takes the entire screen because if you try to rotate scale on the object it's gonna start sculpting. Now back to primitives the reason why we cannot sculpt right away on one of these primitives is because these meshes right here are designed for you to alter their sizes right away meaning that if I bring in my polyframe and I go to the bottom of my tool palette under initialize you will notice that we can change these primitives in real time I can change the um, twist the divide the amount of polygons that we have in each direction and this is independent to each of the 3D meshes that we use, these primitives right here. So the sphere is going to give me different types of settings. The cylinder will also give me different types of settings and so on and so on. Now, if I try to sculpt on a primitive, you will notice that we get this warning right here. It's going to tell us that to enable sculpting, we have to convert this 3D primitive to a polymesh 3D and that we have to press the make polymesh button in the tool palette. So we're going to do that. I'm going to click on this gray area to get out of that warning and I'm going to go to make polymesh. As soon as I click make polymesh, you will notice that all of these tools that I have grayed out right here, which are sculpting tools in my custom UI will appear. So let me click on make polymesh and now we can sculpt on this mesh right here. Now this mesh right here does not have enough subdivision and I'm going to talk about what subdivisions are. So to reiterate this process again I'm going to clear my canvas. First I have to get out of edit mode. I'm going to hit T. I'm going to clear my canvas by going to Control N or Command Apple N on a Mac and then again if I was to click on a polysphere and then immediately hit T so you can go into edit mode. I'm going to hit F so I can frame my mesh. Notice that if I try to sculpt on this primitive 3D, it's going to give me the same warning. This is a primitive. You cannot sculpt. These primitives are designed for you to change their shapes. And as you can see now, since I've selected a sphere 3D, my initialize UI looks different than the cube. So again, you have to go to make polymesh. And now this is a polymesh. We can start sculpting. I'm going to get rid of the polyframe. And there you have it. And this is how you launch ZBrush, how you convert a primitive into a polymesh so we can start sculpting.